there's a lot going on in and around Omaha, and there's one great place to keep track of it all, Metro Magazine. Tickets start at $25, but you can enjoy Countdown to Cinco de Mayo for free. How? Come for, up. Yeah, first, I want to welcome back to Pub. Publisher and uh, hey. Metro Magazine, Andy Hoy. Good to see you. Hi, Andy. Andy. Good to see you, too. Nice to have you. you we, 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 she okay. said no more black. No, no black? I love, no more I love black. this idea. Yeah. I, just, I woke up. It's sunny out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be bright. You know. I like this. So. Well, I brought you down. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All black up Blacked top out. Here. Yeah. Come on. Uh, let's talk about the, the real quick. Yeah. It's a five day event that begins. It's, uh, and it begins today. Today, uh -huh. right. Today, Compassion on the 15th. Omaha. Compassion Omaha. So last April, Compassion Omaha created a week long event. Five days of compassion. So they're doing it again this year. And we have a great story in the April issue of um, Five Days of Compassion. Something new this year, if they have something new this year, is Five Days of Compassion for kids as well. So these are special events that are just for kids. Mm -hmm. But what they're trying to do is, you know, to create a more compassionate city. I mean, you can yeah. get into that, can't you? Totally. Mm -hmm. But I think that makes sense because our volunteerism yeah. rates are already so high. There's this. This yeah. mentality, this spirit already in Omaha, this fits right in. Absolutely. So let me just kind of go through real quickly on the five days. So today is the Omaha Vision. What they're wanting people to do is, if you can see in our thing, yeah, there's all these little post-it notes. So they're asking people to come down to the Ohm Center, which is in the old market, and just write out what, how do you see Omaha being a compassionate city, or what can people do to be more compassionate? Mm -hmm. They asked third graders this last year, so they're asking you to go down and do that on all week long at the Ohm Center, but then Earth Day is on Saturday yeah. at Elmwood mm -hmm. Park. Yep. Um, day two, pay it forward. Um, so just do something nice. Mm -hmm. What pages are those on? As we're looking at, by the way, all Metro Magazine editions are posted yep. online if you don't subscribe to it. What is so, it, around 28, 29 yep, 28, pages? 29, yes. Spiritofomaha.com if you'd like to read more online. Um, in terms of other events, every visit you bring us a top five. And these are the Absolutely. things that are on your radar that you think the rest of us should be aware of. Yes. What made the cut this time? So as we're looking over the next two weeks, um, Feather Our Nest for Fontenelle Forest, one of my mm -hmm. favorite events. I love Fontenelle Forest. Yeah, and they're Happy drinking scotch. I know. The scotch tasting. They were here with us. And I Yes, Jen boy. was telling me about that. Very educational. First thing in the morning, <laughs> my gosh. Um, okay, so also on the 25th and 26th, Bowl for Kids' Sake mm -hmm. for Big Brothers, Big Sisters. April 26th is Rebuilding Day, Rebuilding Together Omaha, where they go out and they help renovate mm -hmm. 25 homes of the low-income elderly and disabled. Um, April 26th, also March for Babies in the morning um, for the March of Dimes. And then one of my absolute favorites, mm -hmm. that evening on the 26th, Black Tie and Tails, a benefit for the Nebraska Humane Society. You I always love talk it. About, yeah, you always talk about this. And so every year after this event, you come in with great stories. <laughs> I've never been to it, but I've heard great things about yeah. it as well. Yeah, should. And Kathy's here from the Humane Society. I know. We'll She's be talking more Molly. about that event here in just a little yeah. bit. So that's your top five, but you have all, a lot of other events on your website. Yes, go to our website. Go There's to. hundreds of events on the website. So spiritofomaha.com and look at the complete calendar. So when you're here next, you'll have an announcement yes. to make. What does it tie back to? So a couple months ago, we were asking people to submit, um, you know, what they get excited about giving back and the different organizations that they help. So we had just a flood of entries. We narrowed it down to the top 10. So we will announce those top 10 and then the voting is going to begin and the winner will appear. Um, they're going to receive $1,000 from American National Bank and they will appear in the August issue. Mm -hmm. So some cool very cool Finalists, stories. I bet. Yeah, yeah, and, and a really great variety of, of nonprofits. So mm -hmm. it was fun. Perfect. Yeah. What are you giving away this week? So we are giving away two tickets to count down to Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Was that my um, Spanish accent? Uh, did I didn't, you try? I didn't recognize. Did you try one? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I thought you were just being silly. Uh, there is even a tequila tasting here. So what's the scoop this event May 1st? It's May 1st, and it's just from 5.30 to 7.30, so it's right after work. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the historic Landmark Exchange Building. But come on down. Um, proceeds benefit One World. Tickets are only $25, so if you don't win, I just encourage you to grab a couple couple tickets. It's just fun. Mm -hmm. It's just it, it, fun. I like Cinco de Mayo. You know, it just kind of reminds me of spring. You like margaritas. I, well, so do you. <laughs> I, and yeah. By the way, I saw you took down that scotch. Um, <laughs> feather your nest. But no, it just reminds me of spring. You know, it's yes. early May. It's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's colorful, fun. festive. Yeah. The deadline to register for this giveaway is April 28th. You will need the keywords Cinco de Mayo. Register online at spiritofomaha.com. On the left side of that page, you'll see a morning blend tab. Click on that. You'll need to plug in a few key pieces of information just so Andy or a member of our team can notify you if, in fact, you win those tickets. 
But again, make sure to do it by the 28th of this month and then the event May 1st. I know. There's uh, the picture of Willie. It's still flashes on your website. Are we going <laughs> to take that one? down? Well, it just rotated through. It's gone now. Oh, where he was going. dancing where with the Omaha dancing. Stars. Are you going to take yeah. that down? No, that is going to be up there forever. <laughs> there it is. Life I'm sure on he, our website. He, he wouldn't complain about that, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, thank you, Andy. It's always nice to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thanks a lot, Andy. And nice to see you in yellow. Mike. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Tomorrow's your sorry. turn. I'll bring I'll wear yellow tomorrow. <laughs> Step All it right. up. Thanks a lot. So stay tuned for Oh Honey. The pop folk duo is they're getting a lot of national press. We're excited to welcome them to the blend right here. Their live performance is still ahead. First, rocker Chris Daughtry, what he's doing to help others break into the music biz, similarly to how he got his start.